this is going to be the first episode of Frapped Interviews with Artists. Obviously, my name's Sid, the art director for Frapped, and this will be episode one. I'm Dimitri Touzré. I'm a new media and generative artist. I'd like to focus on uh, monochrome aesthetics and uh, try to discover new ways of interacting with the users or with the artworks. Um, you can find uh, my work on my website, this.media, or Instagram, this uh, e-design. Uh, I'm sure it will show up somewhere. And uh, also I'm on Twitter and mm, I think that's all. Brilliant. So good morning, Dimitri. Good morning. I don't know what time it is, it, but I don't think it's morning there, though, is it? No, it's like uh, 20 past two. And you're in France, right? Yes, south of France, yes. No, I live in the mountain in France, close to the mountains of Very Canada. nice. South. So, yeah. firstly, congratulations for being selected for Frapped. Thank you, and uh, thanks for having me in the selection. Like, it's really a great pleasure, mm -hmm. like, to... Share this no problem. The whole team are thrilled to have you on board, as I'm, I'm sure you're aware already, um, having discussions with the team. So, on the 15th of October, you're due to be released uh, via the Fract airdrop system. So that's something that Fract holders can look forward to. But I want to understand a little bit more about yourself, Dimitri. So, where did the uh, where did art start for you in in, in your career? Oh, um, it's like 12, or, yeah, 12 years ago, uh, actually I was doing like uh, informatic and uh, science studies and uh, I discovered like um, art through graffiti actually and uh, urban art and uh, that's where my journey started and um, after a few years of practicing in the streets I was uh, like giving the opportunity to to do show in exhibition or in, inside the gallery and um, this is where I started like uh, to integrate in my work like uh, new media and um, interactivity as I was feeling uh, putting jobs I was doing in the street into a gallery was not making much sense to me um, so um, I started to integrate like um, sensors in order to degrade Uh, the artworks uh, depending on the weather or on uh, how much people were seeing the artwork and uh, that got me hooked on the like uh, code art and uh, how to like interactivity and then to generative art because I really fully went into it and uh, I start programming like different kind of systems and uh, yeah it's like five years now I'm like fully fully into new media art with all like the panel of things you can do with it. Not all because it's like uh, almost infinite, but um, I like, like to discover new, new sensor, new techniques and uh, yeah, to explore and experiment in it. So are you, are you self-taught or uh, did you go to a university or study um, any kind of art? No, uh, I'm self-taught. I, uh, I did like, um, Uh, formation in uh, contemporary art uh, but really not about uh, it was more about like um, the artist uh, promotions and uh, it was in a contemporary center uh, but it, it wasn't like about a uh, technical side of uh, new major art at all so for like everything around uh, generative art and things like that, I'm self-taught, yeah. So, so talk me through some of the uh, key moments in, in your career so far. Oh, so, um, so for me, like, there is like this really, uh, like there was this moment where I, I decided like to really drop uh, any job I had like to, to fully commit to art. Uh, And I think it was really when uh, I discovered like new media art uh, because it was like kind of for me uh, mixing like uh, my passion of uh, science and uh, computer uh, with uh, art. Uh, so this was one of the key moment and uh, I don't know, then it went really fast. So there's like a lot of moments and uh, since then it's 
been the crazy journeys. Sure, a lot of stepping stones to to just progression and and keep moving yeah. in the direction you're going. Yeah. You are you are uh, currently collaborating, and I won't I can't drop the name at this stage, or or, or can you? Yeah, um, I'm collaborating with a DJ called uh, Dan Genacia. He's from uh, Trio Apollonia, which is a house um, house uh, producer. And uh, we are collaborating with our project, which is called the Alpha Wave Experience. You will probably hear about it in the next uh, few weeks. And uh, it's like a collective project with producer and uh, designers and uh, uh, artists. And um, we are trying like to promote like a new experience, which is called the Alpha Wave Experience. And it's about uh, it, it will be hard like to, to talk all the project right now and probably Dan will be way more able to do it. But uh, we are releasing like also exhibition, like a physical exhibition and maybe gigs around it uh, too. But before that, obviously you're releasing your project with ourselves called Moments. Uh, could you give me a little bit of information about Moments, what it's about, project description? Yeah. Uh, Moments is a um, fully generative artwork um, which generates like uh, a, a bit above uh, 1000 um, pictures uh, which everyone is different and um, everyone is like generates through uh, the same system but using like different parameters uh, which are predetermined before and um, the system can actually generate like uh, over 1,300 uh, works. But then like uh, there's this small algorithm uh, which will um, took out of the algorithm 300 uh, possibilities based on like um, factors of uh, brightness and uh, contrast and uh, different parameters. So at the end, the system generates over 1,000 pieces. Uh, and uh, because of these selections, uh, which happen like uh, with an algorithm, uh, all parameters don't have like the same um, possibilities of ap appearing. So uh, there will be like uh, artwork which are more rare than others, and some will be more common, even if it's not based on uh, aesthetical issue or it's just like an algorithm which decide which should be okay and which should not be okay. And uh, what I was trying to express, like in um, aesthetics point of view, was like the each piece is um, <clears throat> a moment taken after three seconds of living of this algorithm through time. So uh, each one is like uh, how the system evolve after three seconds. Um, I feel like it creates a variety of different. Uh, possibilities and uh, because it's not like uh, taking the first pictures of the system but after three seconds of evolving it adds a bit of movement into it and uh, I hope um, people will enjoy it. Okay so that duration of time wasn't taken because you have a special relationship with that number it was just to give a duration of time for the system to make enough changes? Yeah exactly it was like uh, Quite like I decided like not for yeah any specific uh, reason, but uh, I was feeling like after three seconds the system was generating like uh, things I I found interesting. I could have let it like went for I don't know a minute or two, but uh, I feel like it, it didn't added more dynamism to the scene, and three seconds was like enough also short because there was a lot to generate. So uh, if it took like one hour, it would have taken like way way too much time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but your release schedule wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be what it currently is, would it? No, <laughs> maybe in two years it will it will have been, but yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Thank you, thank you very much uh, for all that information. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for being part of the frat community. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. No worries at all. Boom. Done.